All right. I've got a bit of a blocked up nose, so bear with me. I don't think it's allergies or something. But uh, I had a request to do a combat from A to Z all the way through, so I'm going to try and do that. And one, one of the ones we have here, we actually have uh, no chits allocated for many of the units. So we're going to do that. The first thing you do is uh, when the combat's declared is give each one a, uh, a strength indicator. So you can see there, uh, A, B, C. This is a C rated counter, so it'll have a combat factor of one. And we're just going to do this hex here. And then we have the 24th uh, attacking this hex. And most of, in fact, all of the 24th is out of uh, supply. So all their compact factors are halved. So this guy here, for instance, is B rated and he has a combat value of four. Therefore, his combat strength will be two. So we're gonna just check all these units, make sure they all have a chip. I think these guys do, yep, that's a five and a two. So that's gonna be four so far, plus another two is six, seven, eight. Now see these battalions, these tank battalions here, they allow us to gain a column shift. So we have two of those. So we have two column shifts that we know of so far. And I've forgotten the total. Was it eight? I think it was eight. Let's assume it's eight. I'll redo it later if, uh, if it's wrong. And then I look at the uh, different formation designations. Uh, this guy here is the 17th Panzer, fourth Panzer. And then I've got 17th Panzer there. And as you can see, it made a mistake. Oh, no, that's okay, actually. And here's the 17th Panzer was, I think it was here. So we've already made a mistake because we really want, I believe the Panzer, well, all the units that get uh, another type of bonus, which is called a divisional integrity, have to be adjacent or stacked together to obtain their bonus. So just for argument's sake, and in fact, we will do that. We'll move these guys until we get another another bonus. These, they're all here. So whichever hex we're going to, didn't really matter. Right, so that would then give us an additional column shift. So that'd be plus another plus one. So there'd be three column shifts. Uh, we're not gonna use this guy here in this attack. He's gonna attack this guy. Because really we just want the, oh, actually that's the hex we want. So anyway, long story short. So what did I say this guy was? He is a one, well that kind of sucks. So it's eight to one. And I'm gonna to go to the combat table, grab two dice. And if I roll one more seven, I'm gonna spit. I'm so sick of rolling sevens. One of the worst numbers you can see on the, on the map, on the CRT. Okay, so then we look at the CRT and we had a uh, eight to one with three shifts. And we are in, I think that's woods, or is it city? I can't see, it's woods. So we go to the woods column here, and we go to eight to one, and we're off the charts in terms of success. So that's a good thing. Seven is still only a D11. And D11 means uh, defender retreats one and loses one step. Uh, if it was in bold, it would be defender loses two uh, retreats to and the attacker would get to choose where the def where the defender retreated to and they would lose two steps the attacker would have the opportunity to then advance not two hexes but three hexes and that my friends is combat so usa patriot you got your wish <laughs>